Good evening. Please I'm give Dave your name and address. 3780. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're all fighting yes, holes up here. It's a bad time. Peregrine Circle. I just wanted a report on what equipment was being purchased. Um, I think it's a great thing. I, as a law enforcement officer, um, it's a lot of money. Why wasn't it budgeted during the normal time period or some other funds used? And just an explanation to the, to the public on the importance on what this equipment is, you know, because it's... Um, reasonably to say about a thousand dollars per member of the police department so i just um think it's something that we uh, should be educated on and says what is it um and why now what's the importance on having it now rather than waiting for the the budget year and having it included in the police department budget or why wasn't um some type of grant funds or um, asset seizure funds used for a one-time purchase of equipment that's pretty much all I wanted was just an explanation. Okay. So. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so, Chief Abel, if you want to start out, we have what is the equipment used for, and then we're looking at uh, budget. Uh, why wasn't it previously budgeted, or why weren't other budget funds used? And maybe Ms. Eden wants to tag in here where you want to put her. And then uh, why now as opposed to later? I'll try and cover all those. If not, please ask me and I'll definitely will. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of council. The item before you uh, stems from uh, something I believe you're all familiar with, the training we've been doing recently in partnership with the fire department. Uh, it started a year ago, progressed, and then just recently, the entire police department and fire department worked together on handling critical incidents, critical matters, in this case, active shooter. Um, with that, we do have trained experts amongst the police department and fire department who are designated trainers. Their job is to evaluate needs for both departments when we need equipment and to come back, obviously, to command staff and report on what those needs are. Certainly, tactics change, equipment changes, things become more modern, and there's new stuff out there. The items before you that we are seeking have 90% to do with safety equipment, and by safety equipment, I mean ballistic equipment that adds additional protection for our police officers and our firefighters against, in this case, um, heavy armory, heavy wep weapons that a normal bulletproof vest would not stop. Um, the rest of it's trauma type equipment to help if we do have victims that are injured in a, in a, in a critical incident that we as first responders, police and fire can render immediate aid, have um, designated areas to do that aid versus even waiting before they're transported to a hospital. So to answer some of those questions as to why now, why now is why not now. I don't want to wait another six months for a budget process. The sooner I get this equipment, the sooner I get safety equipment in the hands of our police officers and firefighters, that's my responsibility to ask you for that. Uh, why not grant? I think I answered that as to grants also take time, although be it we do seek grants all the time. In fact, we met with uh, Congressman Calvert last month, and we are looking at some federal grants, and certainly we may apply federal grants to future appropriations to replace this stuff, because some of the stuff has shelf life, especially ballistic equipment. Uh, acid forfeiture, I think, was brought up. Uh, maybe it's not known by everybody, but right now acid forfeiture funds have been shut down. They're not releasing acid forfeiture funds. So the funds that we do have right now, we have that allocated for other items. So I really can't spend that on stuff that's not budgeted for. Um, I think I covered most of his questions. I believe so. But again, all these items stem from our recent training. That's why the, the currency is now. And these are items that have been identified by our experts, our trainers. That's new equipment that's available that just, quite frankly, keeps our police officers and our firefighters safer. Thank you. You're welcome. Any questions from council, or is there a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Uh, the item passes. Yes, 